Here's my protractor. Let's say I've got a circle. I'm going to do a really quick circle using this. I'll put a dot in the middle. I'll hold that down. And I'll draw my line to make my beautiful circle. You'll notice I just put a dot and then I move my protractor around to make it work. If I am doing lines and the like, it's great to start off with a straight line to start off with. So I just use the base of my protractor to do that. Now, what percent am I using? In this case, if I have 28 students all together, I have 16 in grade 6. And I have 12 in grade 7 in our math class. So 16 out of 28 are 6s, and 12 out of 28 are 7s. I need to find the percentages of these, so I take my calculator and I do 16 divided by 28 equals 57 and I'm going to multiply that by 100 to give me roughly 57 percent. I'll do 12 divided by 28 equals 42.8 times 100 equals. I'm going to round this off from 42.8 to 43 percent. So there are my percents for the grade sixes and the grade sevens. I then need to take my information and convert it so I can use the degrees on my, on my protractor. So I'm going to do 360 times 57%, which is 205 degrees, and 360. Another way to do this is just times 0.43 equals 155. Okay. Armed with this information, I have two angles that I need to make. So either a 205 degree or 155 degree. I'm going to make a 155 degree angle first. So I'm going to put my, my protractor so that the line that I have uh, already drawn ends right where the protractor has the upright line from 90 meeting the bottom line, just like that. My first one that I'm going to do, my first measurement is 155 degrees. I'm going to start at the zero, which in this case is on the outside, as opposed to the zero, which is on the inside. I need to start at zero, and I'm going to count up 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 150 Five degrees. I put a little dot there and I connect those dots. So this section here is grade 7. I have 12, which leaves me with this grade 6, which is 18. Now, let's say you had instead decided to do your 205 degree angle first. Some of you have said how is it that I'm going to do it if it's going to be more than 180 degrees because my protractor stops at 180? You have two ways of doing that. You can either do 360 minus 205, which is going to give you 155, and you're going to measure this angle out instead, which is what we did over here, measuring out our 155, recognizing that the rest is what's left. or you can take your protractor, measure at 180 degrees, which would be right here, because 205 minus 180 is 25. So I need to add another 25 degrees to this. So I'm going to start over here, 10, 20, 5. So again, this would be 280, 205 degrees, which is 180 
plus 25. Enjoy!